Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. I always feel better about things when I am on my normal schedule. My normal schedule being filming in the morning for you guys. Just putting some shoes on here. Um, I hope that these ones will not hurt my feet today. So, um... I'm going to guess that I probably cut off the vlog yesterday and that this is a new one. Um, if I can get the shoe on my foot. This week, um, we have... Oh, I can wear my new pumps. Well, anyway. This week we have... Um, for stuff that's going on at work, that's just the easiest for me to say that way, we have to be dressed up all week long. No jeans. And next week is the same way. So... Um, I thought I would try for sure to do some outfits of the day for you guys. I'm still not sure about these shoes I'm putting on, but let's just, we'll just see what they end up looking like. Um, so we had a good rest of the night when we got home. I just kind of chilled and finished my laundry. And after we had Father's Day, which was very, very nice. Okay, so <laughs> shoes finally on. So anyway, we have to be dressed up. We can wear capris, but no jeans. No jean capris, that sort of thing. <sighs> I don't know about these shoes. I want. I kind of want to wear my navy blue pumps with these. Let's just put those on. Okay, I still don't know, but anyway, this is what I will show you. <laughs> we'll see what I actually end up wearing. Um, but these capris... Sorry, I still have some laundry I'm working on behind me, but these capris I got um, from Lane Bryant, and they're kind of a linen blue, I don't know what else you would call them. Um, these pumps are from Avenue from a long time ago, navy blue, and they have a little patent on the front. Um, tank top from Maurice's, and just a navy blue tank top. And um, sweater is from, I think, Lane from a couple years ago. Just these earrings that I got from a friend a long time ago. He got me a, um, these ones and a few other ones that he got just like all on one sort of thing. Not sure how I love this sweater the way that it's laying currently, but anyway. Anyway, and then this necklace was also a gift from a friend. A little tassel -y thing. So, um, yeah, the other shoes I was trying to decide between, where did I put them? Are these ones. I can't decide which ones I'm going to wear, but at any rate, um, I need to figure out something. I forgot to make my oatmeal last night, so I have to go see, I think I have some strawberries that I can take for lunch. Um, so yeah, I thought I would make sure that I showed you guys outfits of the day this week, um, just because it'll be something a little bit different since I'm not wearing jeans every day to work. Yeah, that's what I really have to report today. It's um, supposed to be a little warmish, but I'm wearing the sweater because it's always cool in our office. Um, I originally had a blazer on today and a tank top, and I like a white tank top, a blue blazer. But I was like, boy, I just filmed in that, and I was filming Topic Tuesday today. So I decided not to bore you all and give you something else different to look at. <laughs> These are the things that go through my mind. All right, so with that, I'm going to find myself something for to take for breakfast. I have leftover salad. Oh, I should show you guys. The salad that I had last night at um, Luigi's. We went to the pizza place. That is our favorite in town. But I had a salad. They just started having these salads there. Oh, this is not going to look anywhere near as good as it is as it was. But they had... Um, let me grab a fork so I can show you. Since I have to move this into a different container anyway. This, it has sun-dried tomatoes on it, and then it had little baby balls of mozzarella that I cannot find anywhere, but grilled chicken, cal uh, Kalamata olives, it was really good. There was some cucumber and some tomato. It was delightful, so I'm going to put that into a container, and yeah. That's what I got for you guys today. I'm going to some crackers and some vegetables, and yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Um, so I don't think I'll be doing anything exciting tonight, so we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. I'm just packing up my laptop here. I just shot and edited my video for Thursday. I have a Thursday video today, which, or this week, I should say, 
which you probably have already seen um, if you watch that channel. It is a beautiful morning. The, we had some nasty storms yesterday. We had kind of, it was really hot and humid. And then a cold front came through. Um, and so you know how that can cause some major storms. Let me give you a little outfit of the day action. Um, I was recording a um, foundation review this morning to do with Kirsten. <clears throat> so I always like to make sure my hair is up for those. Um, anyway, I have my badge on, so just so you know what the little white thing is. And this is, so first of all, these are Vera Wang um, from Target. Simply Vera, are they? I don't know. Anyway, from or not just from Target, from Kohl's. I can't get it together. Wedge is from Kohl's. Pants are from Tora, just the black... Um, they're just their black dress pants, which are falling down. And then this blouse, I actually got four of these. I got it in white, coral, pink, and this color, white, coral, pink, and the, yeah, that's four. Um, at Lane Bryant at the outlet. It's all, of course, already wrinkled because I've been sitting down and editing. Um, these earrings are from Francesca. And on my face today, I have the Lorac Pro Palette on my eyes, I should say. And the Milani blush in T Rose. And yeah, I think that is everything. So, um, yesterday, of course, was ridiculous at work. <laughs> Just trying to um, um, get, you know, get caught up from being gone. And it was kind of busy. And, you know, you know how it is. And yeah, so hopefully, hopefully today won't be quite as busy. But I don't have too much to report other than that. Um, this next couple of weeks is going to be like weird for Bob at work too. And so it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks, but, um, and I, so this is the week. Remember when I told you guys I had like four weeks in a row with, um, only having to work, um, like a partial week. Like I had at least one day off every week for the past four weeks, just because of the way my vacation fell and I have to work all week this week. So I keep giving Bob a hard time about that. Or he's, I keep complaining about it to be sassy and he keeps giving it back to me. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm going to pack myself up, head off to work. Um, I'm just trying to think if there'll be anything to show you guys tonight. Probably not. I was going to show you guys the picture from when I went to Galena with my friend Michael. We did one of those old-time photos, and we had, there's more of them. I don't have the disc yet because we did them with um, Brian as well. But anyway, um, I have to show you guys this. I put it on Instagram too, but isn't that funny? Oh, I put on Instagram um, why I do declare I'm having a lovely time or something like that. It was funny. Oh, so anyway, with that, I'm going to pack up my stuff, head into work. It's quarter to seven. I'm going to continue to get caught up and yeah, I'm hoping to get outside for my walk tonight instead of on the treadmill. That would be delightful. Um, yesterday, like I said, it was just humid and storms and storms and storms. I wasn't sure if it was safe. It would be like bright and sunny one minute and then stormy the next. So anyway, all right, with that. I'm out. Good morning, everybody. It is a Wednesday morning. I'm just going to put something in my empties. And, and it fell out of my empties. I probably don't even need to put it in there. It's hairspray that I always use. Um, anyway, so it is a beautiful morning here in Northeast Wisconsin. Like, gorgeous. I don't know what the temperature is, but... Um, Yesterday was gorgeous as well. It was 80, no humidity. It was really, really nice. So I was able to get out outside and walk last night, which was very nice. I enjoyed that. Um, Bob was in the garden forever, and we ended up having salads. We're going to be having lots of salads in this household. Lots and lots of salads. Because we have so much lettuce, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it all. So um, last night we had some leftover taco meat. Um, so we put that on a salad and tonight he's going to grill up some chicken. But anyway, so he was in the garden forever and then he was mowing the lawn forever. Um, I was back and showered and dinner ready and I mean, before he even came in. So anyway, um, I guess a little outfit of the day. So this dress I have had forever and a day, like forever and a day. Um, it's from Old Navy and gosh, I think 
three or four years ago. Long, long time. But Old Navy always has really nice kind of summery cotton. I totally just dropped the camera. <laughs> anyway, so Old Navy always seems to have really nice summery cotton, easy to throw on, like t-shirt material dresses. And this one just happens to look a little dressier, so I like it. Anyway, but it's got stripes. So it's one of the striped things that um, I left in my closet and maybe shouldn't have. But anyway prepare for the pasty legs so um this is what it looks like and it has like this crisscross here and whatnot and so then i'm just wearing my wedges my the, that i got at old nate no at um lane bryant and actually this this cardigan it's a three-quarter length it is also from old navy that i got a long time ago i used to i don't wear as many cardigans as i used to i used to wear like tons of i have like a arsenal of cardigans in my in my closet I just don't wear them as much as I used to I kind of went in a phase where I was wearing camis and cardigans or a dress in a cardigan or whatever but anyway so I need to put on some earrings I think I'm going to wear my I have these navy blue drop earrings all right so these are the earrings that I'm going to wear um <clears throat> not going to wear a necklace I never wear a necklace with this dress let me grab my phone so I told you it's 6 30. I'm gonna get out of here and off to work. I feel like these are boring check-ins this, this week but I wanted to show you the different sort of outfits that I wear when I have to be dressier but not like dressy. Um, gosh it's so nice out. Just one of those days where I'd like to go for a walk right now but I have to go to work. <laughs> So I didn't film this morning. I need to film Saturday's video, um, which I think is a rehaul. Yes, that's what's on my list. A total rehaul, so I need to do that tomorrow morning. So actually I'm gonna, um, before I head off to work, I'm just gonna go look, it up, look up what haul it is that I am going to be filming, or filming the update on, get that stuff printed out so I'm ready to go tomorrow. But Oh, for my face of the day, I was gonna tell you, I am wearing, um, Today, I, okay, so yesterday I filmed the review on the CoverGirl Stay Luminous. And in the review, I had said that I wanted to try combining the Stay Luminous with the Outlast and see how that worked. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but this is the first time doing that. Um, and then on my eyes, I just have a neutral eye look. And I used the, kind of, that electric blue color from the Urban Decay um, Electric Palette. And then my cheeks are Tom Ford Frantic Pink, and that, which I, you know. And then my lips are the Chanel lipstick. I've had this for a while and I haven't worn it very often. And it's so pretty. It's the Rouge Allure and Exulti, number 93. So it's one of the ones that like pushes up like that. Um, yeah, so that's what, that's what I'm currently sporting today. Um, I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. The Volume de Chanel on my eyes my eyelashes um yeah uh, so my mascara video went up yesterday um which I, normally i get a little bit of harassment about having so many mascaras open at one time but i think that um my explanation of why probably helped um this time and it's so funny because i have to go see the whole comment when i get an email about a comment I can't see the whole comment. I can only see the first portion of it. <clears throat> and then when I go in and read and answer comments, then I can see the rest of it. Anyway, somebody said something about me mentioning the time. And I think that's like a little weird sort of, I don't know what you call it, weird sort of quirk of mine that I'm always mentioning the time. I'm always worried about, like in my everyday life, I'm always like, what time is it? What time do I have to be somewhere? What do I have to get done in a certain amount of time? So that's funny that somebody that somebody noticed that. I know Laura gives me crap about <laughs> how it's like a, what did, she, what did she say when I was out there? She's like, it's like a game to you to see how much you can get done before, you know, like 9 a.m. or whatever. But I don't know. So now what's funny is that I know for sure, I think I mentioned it in my, I mentioned the time in my video that's going live tomorrow too because it was like 5 a.m. when I was putting on my foundation. And um, I think I mentioned that it was my, because the birds were singing and it was explaining why the birds were singing. Anyway, all right, I'm just randomly talking now about the things about myself that are just weird. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, 10 to 7. 
Um, just getting some shoes on. And I'll show you my outfit of the day. Um, we're allowed to wear capris, just not jean capris. Ow! Um, I have to tell you guys, I had the strangest dream last night. I don't know if it was last night, if it was this morning, you know, like, after Bob, he'll give me a kiss goodbye, and then out he goes. Um, and I don't know if it was in that time frame or what. I don't know. Not that it matters. But sometimes I have weirder dreams, like, in the 20 minutes between when I get up and when he kisses me goodbye, um, than I do the rest of the night. I don't know why that is. So, anyway the dream um I, and it went on for a while like I feel like it went on for quite some time but I woke up okay and this is in my dream I woke up and walked into our bathroom and somehow like I saw like sawdust you know, like dust down on t onto the counter and <clears throat> termites I've never seen a termite in my life but, like, I kept saying, oh, it must be termites. Termites were, like, eating through our ceiling. There's not even wood up there. I don't understand where it comes from. But anyway, <laughs> that was my dream. And it was, like, all about me, like, freaking out about that and calling him and trying to handle it myself. And, oh, my gosh, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, and I was up there with my, like, I was up somehow in the attic. We don't have an attic. And I was like checking things out with my the light on my cell phone. <clears throat> anyway, okay. So outfit of the day, I I went back and forth about wearing a necklace with this, and I decided not to. So I'm wearing those um, Sojour capris that we've talked about before. <laughs> I've shown you guys before the hot pink ones. I have them in hot pink and one and in tan as well. I decided to go with the hot pink ones today. And um, these shoes I got at Lane Bryant last year. I no two years ago. I love, love, love them. Love, love. And this is a sweater from Maurice's, and just a black tank underneath it. So it's like a cap sleeve. So the only issue here. Oh, and these earrings are Stella and Dot. I got. I don't know if they're still available. I got them last summer, I think. Um, yeah. Now I lost my train of thought. Whatever I was gonna say. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> so Stella and Dot earrings, and I didn't put anything, any other jewelry on. And I'm wearing the Lilac Path. Do you guys, let me know if you want me to tell you day to day what um, fragrance I'm wearing. Lilac Path is what I'm wearing today. I think I have everything from here. So, um, last night, here's, here's a little update. I went... Even though it's nice outside, it was nice outside, I went on the treadmill because I feel like that's the only way I'm going to be able to really kick things up. It's not like I can put hills outside where there isn't a hill. Know what I'm saying? So last night I did 45 minutes um, and I kicked up the speed and then I did the whole 45 minute. Well, I did a five minute warm up and like a two minute cool down. But in between there, then I had the incline jacked up. So that's my current plan for just kind of changing things up a little bit and I really like walking outside so like on the weekends or something I may do like a normal kind of workout walk on the treadmill and then go outside but I'm just I'm just changing things up you know you know so anyway um I, I have to say I can't believe how fast this week is going by that it's Thursday already um last night I should break this up and show you guys. We had salads. We're having salads again tonight because we have so much lettuce from the garden. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it all. Um, actually, I took pictures last night. I was going to Instagram something and then didn't. So I'll insert those pictures of the how much lettuce and spinach we have. And the pictures were before I made our salads last night. But so um, The salad spinner, by the way, that he got at Fleet Farm... I don't appreciate it. I think that Pampered Chef has one that I will like a little bit better. I'm going to show you guys this one. I don't know the name brand on it or anything because I took the sticker off. But it, you have to like spin it like with this thing. And I think I've seen ones where you can like push on it and spin it. And it gets a little better for centrifugal force. I feel like this didn't get as much of the water out as I would like to have seen it get out. But anyway. 
it was eight dollars so and it worked you know in the in the pinch so and then what I did with it is laid out the you'll see in the picture you saw in the picture I lay out laid it out on paper toweling to let it dry a little bit and then I rolled it up in the paper toweling and put it in a Ziploc bag in the fridge I didn't seal it I just put it in a Ziploc bag so it had some place to be I'm not sure if that's the best plan or not but that's what I did so with that I'm going to pack my stuff up oh on my face today I'm trying the cosmetic CC cream it's kind of always fun for me when um, I use up a foundation that I've been trying to use up because then I'll just play around for a little bit before I pick the next one and I need to film for next week is it or the week after my three month update on the products I'm using up and um, when I do that then I will pick another foundation so I have another week or so to play anyway um, so on my face is the Cosmetic CC Cream and then the Burberry Sheer Powder over the top of that. And then, um, the Isold Duo from NARS, little Max Soft Brown. My lips is the Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And then I have Trist over the top of that from Camp Cosmetics. So yeah. All right. With that, I'm going to pack myself up and head on to work. Before I go, I just, I was listening to a video and heard somebody say this. I'm curious about this because I've never... Unless I'm saying, give me a thumbs up if you want to see da 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 da, or like, you know, give whatever. Unless there's a purpose for it, which I think I've only done that like once or twice. I don't say at the end of videos in my beauty channel or on here, if you like to give me a thumbs up. My question to you is this. When people say that, does that remind you to give a thumbs up? Or will you already have done it or not done it already? If you if you're already are already already I'm curious about that because when I open up a video and maybe it's because I'm a youtuber but when I start watching a video no matter what video it is of the person I subscribe to I give them a thumbs up because time the effort you know th that sort of thing it may not be a subject that I um, was necessarily interested in or whatever I, I don't know but for me, if it's somebody that I'm subscribed to, it's somebody that I like, somebody that I appreciate their work, and I give them a thumbs up. So, my question to you is this. When, at the end of videos, when people say, you know, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, does that remind you? Is it annoying to you when people say that? The, I'm legit wanting to know. So, um, because I'm wondering if that makes a difference. I, I mean, I know that it makes a difference in the YouTube world. It absolutely makes a difference. The thumbs up is very, very helpful. Um, but I've just never done the whole read, comment, subscribe <laughs> thing at the end of videos. Um, and actually, it's a slight pet peeve of mine of people that say read, comment, subscribe, but then they don't actually do them do it themselves. Like they're not commenters. They're <laughs> There you go. The ill insights on Kristen's pet peeves. Not first real problem pet peeves. Just, I'm just saying, if you're going to say rate, comment, and subscribe, you better do it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, anyway, the point of this is, A, does that, have you ever subscribed to somebody who you were watching the video and at the end they said, don't forget to subscribe? Um, and B, whoops, I forgot to take my cake up off. And B, when people say, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, does that, does that actually um, make you remember to do that? Or would you have done it already either way? These are my questions. All right, with that, and now I'm really going to work. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.10 Friday morning. Thank goodness it's Friday. And I have to tell you, I don't remember the last time I was dressed up on a Friday because even when we didn't have to dress up every day, um, we had Fridays were casual. All right. This whole vlog is about me whining about having to dress up. I will stop now. Um, my outfit is, I, I really am having a hard time finding things. Oops, I, good thing I walked back in here. I left a light on. Um, that I feel like are going to be warm enough in the office and whatever. But anyway, um, so this, actually, I don't think this is going to help any. It's kind of a dreary day today. Chilly. Boy, I gotta tell you, I have half a mind to take this off and put on something long sleeve. Because if it's gonna be like this all day long, I don't wanna be cold all day. Anyway, what I'm wearing right now <laughs> is um, these are dress pants from Lame Bryant, just your basic black dress pants. Those same Vera Wang, um, whatever those are called. 
And then this is what I don't like. This type of sweater, you can see like the zipper of the pants. Through. Oh, that drives me crazy. Um, and it's like a really long, I don't know, I've had this sweater for a long time. I rarely wear it and that's why. Um, and then has kind of this drape neck sort of thing. And this necklace, necklace, this necklace is, I think it's called the Rory in black from Stella and Bat. But I gotta tell you, I'm giving serious consideration to changing my clothes. Oh, it'll be fine. I keep grabbing this one, um, cardigan that I have. Um, it's just like an open black cardigan. Yesterday I wore it for part of the day. But that's the kicker. I, I know I was telling you guys this before. <clears throat> a couple of you guys said the same thing that, you know, your office can be really cold. And ours, it's just, it's so strange. Part of the day, like in the morning I'll get there and it'll be warm because the air hasn't been on all night, obviously. Or it's on, but not like full bore or whatever. And then, um, then it'll get chilly, like really, really cold like for most of the day. And then about 3.30, then it starts to get warm again. <laughs> I take, so I'm putting layers on, taking layers off. Anyway, um, I'm just going to show you guys our flowers. If you remember what they look like when we got here. Um, they're the purple ones. They, they get really big and beautiful, and they will hang way down by the end of the summer. Oh, my battery's about to die. And there's the pink ones. Um, okay, so before I head off to work and whatnot, I wanted to tell you guys, I was watching Emily's vlog. I have to text her later because she said, remember when I was talking about the Bath and Body Works stuff and how it was cool that they brought um, back the old scents, but where was Sun Ripe and Raspberry? She said the same thing. Yeah, where was Sun Ripe and Raspberry? I don't understand. I know some of you guys work at Bath and Body Works, so wasn't that one of their best selling scents? Like, why wouldn't they want to bring that one back? I don't understand. Somebody needs to explain it to me. Anyway. Okay, so with that, I'm actually going to upload this footage, get most of it edited, and we will see you tonight with Bobby. Well, hello everybody. It is 5.30, Friday night. Right, game. Right. We just made a grocery list. Woohoo, <laughs> everybody's working for the weekend. You're welcome for that. Um... <laughs> So we just made our grocery list and our menu for the next couple weeks. I haven't been able to think. I used to work six days a week. You've been working six days a week for a very long time, my friend. But yes, I actually was telling somebody that today that, um, hold on, i got to grab this. <clears throat> okay, I was telling somebody today that I was asking him earlier this week what his plan was for Saturday because I was trying to just figure out what the plan was. And, um, how it, he was like, well, why? <laughs> because I used to never ask because this plan was always working. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. And he was never home until three. So I would just kind of make sure that whatever I was doing, I was done with by three o'clock so that I was home when he was home. And now I don't have to do that anymore as far as planning on my own. So I like to see what he's up to. Anyway, the point of all of that is, are you going to take the camera tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. So, he's going to, who is? Ben? Yeah. He's Ben and Bob and Ben. Ben and Bob. I can't even, I can't even shorten that into one word. Anyway, they are going to an auction. Yeah, he forgot to take the, oh, that would have been good footage too, I bet. He took my dad fishing. I think I told you guys that for Father's Day. Um, but anyway, so they're going to auction. And uh, this one right here will get us some footage. Oh, if, I have a coupon. Oh, um, I brought my safety glue. You got your super glue? I got to glue my eye piece, nose piece back. I have Gorilla Glue. I thought you had super glue. Well, we did, but it doesn't ever last but more than one use because somebody throws things into the junk tote in there and then it doesn't stay upright and then it gets super glued together. talking about me yeah I kind of am oh. <laughs> anyway so we are gonna head to the grocery store and we will check in in a little bit well my friends I put away all the groceries and did not do a haul what but yeah so we got home later than normal for some reason yeah I don't know why well we left a little later though 
We did leave a little bit later. So I thought I would just end the vlog. Want to say goodbye? Goodbye. I'm going downstairs. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So with that, we hope that you guys had a really great week and we will see you, well, we'll, we'll film tomorrow, but as you know, it probably won't go up tomorrow, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go wash this face, put on some pajamas, and we'll see you soon.